For news where you live, 5 News starts with breaking news. Breaking right now, first at four, multiple reports coming in to the newsroom that Bobby Petrino is set to be named the next offensive coordinator for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Sports director Jacob Seuss has been following this breaking story for the past couple of hours, has the latest for us. And Jacob, this is as fluid as fluid gets. Darren, you almost have to laugh a little bit. If you told me when I woke up this morning that by 4 o'clock Bobby Petrino would be back with the Arkansas Razorbacks coaching staff, I would have told you you were crazy. But that's exactly what has happened over the last few hours. It was originally reported by ESPN just two hours ago that Arkansas was just vetting Petrino for the position. Maybe they would hire him, maybe they wouldn't. But now writer Chris Lowe is confirming the deal is done. Petrino is once again a member of the Arkansas football coaching staff. He's going to come back as the offensive coordinator, the same role he spent last year in Arlington with Texas A&M. But once Jimbo Fisher got fired, that whole coaching staff was free to hit the market. So Petrino now speaking with Arkansas about the same role. Before that, of course, Petrino, the head coach of Missouri State, he made his return to Razorback Stadium two years ago. The Bears almost beat Arkansas last year. He did so as the offensive coordinator with Texas A&M. So let's go back to Petrino's days on the hill. He was the head coach, and he led Arkansas to a Sugar Bowl and a Cotton Bowl, a 10-win season, and then an 11-win season. Things were good, but he was fired after the infamous motorcycle incident with a former member of the Arkansas volleyball team. So who would have thought over a decade later one of the best offensive mind in the game is back with Arkansas. His first year back in the SEC last year, Texas A&M finished fifth in the SEC in offense. So that would certainly be a step forward for Arkansas. We're going to continue to follow this all evening long as this thing develops, and we're going to hope to hear from the athletic department sooner than later. All right, Jacob, thanks. And again, we will be following this breaking story throughout the night right here on 5 News and, of course, on our website at 5newsonline.com and our free 5 News app.